Hi, I'm April Dunham, a cloud advocate at Microsoft, and I'm here to share some tips and tricks around creating chatbots and teams with Power Virtual Agents. Power Virtual Agents is part of Microsoft's Power Platform. It gives us a low-code way to create and maintain chatbots with a simple-to-use graphical interface. It has built-in natural conversational AI. And thanks to Dataverse for Teams, we can use Power Virtual Agents seamlessly in Teams to create and deploy our chatbots to Teams users. Power Virtual Agents is organized by topics. You can define trigger phrases in the natural conversational AI will trigger the topic closest in meaning to that trigger phrase or utterance. There's deep integration with Power Virtual Agents and Power Automate. We can leverage Power Automate in our Power Virtual Agent bots to trigger automations. So if we needed to pull data from another system, or maybe we needed to go create a ticket based off of a user's question and response, we can offload all of that to Power Automate. So we can trigger a flow directly from Power Virtual Agents, and we can even respond back from Power Automate and those flows to Power Virtual Agents itself. So let's jump over to a demo and see how it works. The first step in getting started is to add the Power Virtual Agents application inside of Teams. To do that, we'll go to the left rail and click on the Apps tab. Do a search for Power Virtual Agents and select that from the list and click Add. In this case, I already have it added, so it's prompting me to open it. So let's click that and we'll open up the Power Virtual Agents application inside of Microsoft Teams. The home screen gives us information on how to get started, but to create chatbots and to use chatbots that we've already created, we'll want to click on the Chatbots tab. To create a new chatbot, just select the New Chatbot option. Then it's going to pop up a panel where it's going to ask us what team we want to associate this bot with. We can choose an option here from the list and click Continue. Now all we have to do is give our bot a name. I'll call this one Hours Bot and choose the language for the bot. Then click Create. Now we're taken to the home screen of our new bot. On the left here, you'll see this is that test pane that we'll get to here in a second. And on the right, we have options to configure our topics, test, and publish. And on the left, you notice we have a few other options. We have some built-in analytics, for example, that allow us to inspect the performance of our bots once we start using them. But as I mentioned before, Power Virtual Asian bots are organized by topics. So the first thing we'll want to do is go over to the topics section. You'll see that we have several preloaded topics. We have some sample topics like this lesson one through four, which are added there to help us get started. We also have what's called system topics. Every bot needs a way to handle things like greetings, escalations, successes, failures, and end of conversation. So that's what these system topics are for. But let's go back and let's take a look at one of those sample topics. Let's look at lesson two. So to use one of these, just click on the name of the topic and you'll see for this one, we have five different trigger phrases. This topic is all about helping us find store locations. Now, this is where we can add in new trigger phrases and change the name and description of our topic. But if we want to configure what this topic is actually doing, we need to go to the authoring canvas. So let's click on the go to authoring canvas option here, and this will take us into the section where we can actually configure the bot. We have our trigger phrases defined here, and then we define what action should happen in the conversation trait. So you see in the sample topic, the first thing it's doing after one of our trigger phrases is initiated is displaying a message. Then you'll notice one of the other things that we can do with these Power Virtual Agent bots is we can prompt for user input and ask questions. So that's the next thing we're doing here. We're asking the user what location they're interested in. So we filled in three options. We have Redmond, Seattle, and Kirkland. So this is going to prompt the user to select one of these options in the bot. And you'll notice one more thing. There's a save response as option. This is allowing us to take whatever the user chose, what option they chose, and output that into a variable that we can then use in our bot. Next, you'll see that we have a condition tree. So based off of which option they chose, one of the three, it's going to check if that variable selected store location equals that option then it will display a unique message based off of the option they chose. And then finally, it just ends the conversation. We can add additional nodes or actions by clicking on the plus button, and you'll see the options we have. So we can have messages, questions, and call an action, which is where the Power Automate integration will come in. This is where we can go and actually create a brand new workflow in Power Automate that will have a PVA trigger. We can build that out, do whatever we need to do, and have it return data back to our bot. 
So we have questions, conditions, calls to action, messages, and then we can also end with a survey. Now we obviously want to test before we deploy this, so that's where this test panel comes into play. So if I wanted to test this topic out, I can go over to my test panel here on the left-hand side, type in one of the trigger phrases, press enter, and it's going to show me in real time on the authoring canvas here, everything that's happening. So I see I have a green check mark next to the trigger. That means that that triggered successfully. And then green check marks next to the message, the question. And now I haven't chose a store location yet. So if I choose one from the option here, I'll choose Seattle. And now I can see that that finished out our bot conversation. Now that we've built and tested our bot, it's time to deploy. To do that, we'll click the back option. And in the upper right-hand side, we'll see this publish button. Click publish again. And one more time. And now it's published and ready to use. Now all that's left is to share the bot. So right now we can get to this bot directly from the Power Virtual Agent app. If I click back on the chatbots tab, I'll see my new hours bot right here. I could select it and click open chatbot and add, and this will actually add this chatbot as a personal application for me to use. So that's one way that we can start using it. Another way though, if I cancel out of this and go back into editing this bot, and back into our publishing section here, we can choose this share the bot option. And here we have the ability to distribute this to a broader audience by submitting it for admin approval. So this gives us the option to be able to deploy this as a tenant wide app so that a larger group of people can use it. We can also choose add to teams and that will make this application available in the built by your colleagues section of the teams app store. And of course we can copy the link to the bot and add that as a tab in any of our teams channels. So let's just click open from here. And I'm going to add this in for now as a personal application. Let's test it out and see how it works once it's deployed. So it looks just like a normal Teams bot that you could create. So I can type hello, it'll reply back with a greeting, and I can ask for store locations. Notice I misspelled store locations, but it still recognized what I said. And it's prompting me to choose a location, which I can do from the picker, and it gives me the answer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Microsoft 365 developer videos.